guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is an exciting day. I got this in the mail and I waited to do a little unboxing with you guys and share um, what it is. You guys will see it soon. It is something from Cycle Gear and it is motorcycle related. So um, a little bit of a background, I guess. I have always loved motorcycles since I was a little kid. Um, I have never you know been on, I've been on one as a passenger but I've never been actually I've never actually been able to ride one um, I was about to get my license when I was about 21 I was still in college and it was kind of hard to pay for the class at that time when you're a student and on student loans and financial aid so now as a working professional I guess you could say I wanted to go ahead and start this journey and what better way to start than by ordering a helmet so this is a helmet I saw at the store I went to cycle gear here in Orange County they were super helpful shout out to them for uh, taking a brand new person like me and <laughs> telling them exactly what I need to do or what I need um, in order to take the class, the class that's here in Orange County, they require you to buy a helmet and bring your own gloves. So I do have all that with me. Um, I tried on a helmet over there in the store. It was uh, kind of big, so I had to order my own, you know, a different size, obviously smaller. And I ordered one before, I tried it on and it was a little too small. I felt like my brain was being crushed. But I went back to the cycle gear and they ordered me um, one size up and I had it shipped to me. So this is what I'm going to be unboxing today. So if it's something you're interested in, keep watching. Alright, so let's go ahead and open this up. I don't have a box cutter, so my fiance does all the box cutting, but I'm just going to use these. <laughs> I haven't even opened it, so this is fun. Um, let's hope this fits because I have not tried it yet. <laughs> let's see. Little label. So, this is an AGV. Um, it's a brand that I did some research on. I was obviously researching myself um, to see what brand helmet I wanted um, and then of course I saw some at the store so they didn't have a lot of AJV in the store um, but I did get to see them online and that's when I ordered um, this one I saw all the different colors that they had I did want something that was bright something that pops um, something that <laughs> will allow drivers to see me when I'm on the road so that's why I wanted something bright and colorful uh, with patterns and things like that so AGV was pretty um, good as far as like their patterns their colors and it kind of stood out to me um, just the overall like shape of the helmet so um, let's open this now I haven't tried this size so I'm gonna try it on for you guys and hopefully it's the right size but get it out. All right. So comes in a little little covering case or something to cover it with. And this is the helmet I got. It is so pretty. I love it. I love the colors. It's so bright. This is why I picked this one. Um, obviously, I don't have experience writing in it yet, so I can't really say anything about that. But as far as looks go, um, it's not so heavy which is nice because some of the helmets I did try at the actual store were a little bit heavy it kind of felt weird um, but yeah this is the helmet it is 
DOT certified, which is a requirement, obviously, to take the course. So um, you can't just buy a helmet on Amazon for like $20 and then go <laughs> take the class. That's not going to work. So I got this on sale. Um, it was President's Day. So that weekend they were having a good sale it was about 20 percent off online already and then in the store they gave you an additional 50 dollars off if you spend i think 200 dollars um i'm sorry 250 i believe or over 200 something like that but uh, in total it ended up being about 189 dollars and then plus tax or you know a couple of dollars there so less than 200 dollars for this helmet which is originally i think about two 89.99 if I'm not mistaken or 283.89 um, but yeah let's try it on that's the big question is if does this fit or do I have to go exchange it again um, this is the third time I'm trying on a helmet um, by the way for someone who's never tried on a helmet before it is very difficult to put on a helmet um, it looks very easy on social media or when you see people outside like they just put their helmet on um, When it's your first time doing it. I don't know why but for me. I had such a hard time Putting on a helmet. I was like wobbling I like a like a dancing chicken um, At the store and the guy was just staring at me laughing, but he was he was cool about it um, my fiance and him were having a good laugh but if you've never tried it on, don't feel like, I don't know, it, it's going to feel weird when you put it on for the first time. I've never really put on a, like a full face helmet like this before. I think the one I did try was like, kind of like half, uh, and then it was like a, you know, thing holding it over here, but it wasn't like full on, full face helmet like this. So, um, but let's go ahead and try this on. <laughs> Uh, one thing I did get from Amazon um, because the store didn't have it for females if you're a female or if you even if you're a guy and you have like long hair um, it tends to get in the way and it can hurt because you pull it um, also me I have a lot of earrings on so uh, when I pierce my ears this many times I never thought I would be getting a helmet and it's kind of difficult to put on at first so what I did end up getting is these um, masks basically, I don't know what the right term it is for these, but it's like a full face mask. So this is what I'm going to use to uh, put on so I don't pull my hair and crush my earrings um, before I try this on. Alright, so I'm going to put this on first, you look kind of weird in the beginning. all the way in because I'm gonna end up pulling it I don't oh, I do have makeup on so also if you're someone that wears makeup um, I don't wear it all the time obviously but when you do wear it you're gonna need something to help with that okay so now my ears are covered uh, my hair is kind of covered. Oh yeah, let's try this out. So it's like a little button that's fastened and then I'm gonna undo the little um, inside of it. I'm not gonna remove this yet just because I don't know if it's gonna fit me 100% but I'm just trying to open it up. This So, here's kind of what the inside looks like, um, it's got like red stitching, super padded, which is nice, uh, but that's the part that's hard to, you know, once you put it on, you feel like it's kind of crushing your head. Um, they did tell me you're going to look like a chipmunk in the beginning, <laughs> so until the padding kind of on the cheeks, um, 
break in basically you're gonna look like a chipmunk which is fine I mean I don't care but um, it's the kind of the head part that's a bit um, tight on the last one so <laughs> all right let's give this a try again um, I hate doing this this is so difficult for me hopefully I get used to it I mean obviously you will the more you do it but it's such a hassle <laughs> All right, hopefully you guys can hear me. I'm kind of yelling, so hopefully it's loud enough, but this feels so much better than the last one. This is medium large. Uh, the other one I had ordered initially was medium small. Um, it's only about one centimeter difference, but it makes such a big difference. So, um, you know, the padding right here, it's kind of smooshing your cheeks but it's not to the point where like my cheeks are going inside my mouth and I keep biting them so it was like extra extra tight um, but yeah this is how it looks it's got a little vent here you gotta figure out how to open that first <laughs> or if it's open already I'm not quite sure because I did try one on and you had to open the vents but yeah this is the helmet Oh, profile view forward it's not wobbly so make sure it's not wobbly when you go buy a new helmet uh, if you're a brand new writer and you you don't know what to do just make sure it's not you know moving so much so this is good this feels really good All right, now to take this off. It's kind of the same, but I did have a lot of trouble at the store because my earrings would just flip upward and it was kind of painful. So you gotta push the sides out, pull them out, I mean. Kind of clear one ear and then I get to pull it off fully because um, yeah that was fun um, I'm really happy I'm, I'm glad this one fit me because um, I've been wanting to sign up for the course but I keep pushing it back because I wanted to make sure I have my helmet and you know make sure it fits me before I actually sign up because once you sign up, you can't really get a refund or anything like that. Um, but yeah, I'm super happy about this. And these masks are really great. I'll link them in the description box below. So if you are interested in getting them, um, it's totally worth it. I, it's not sponsored or anything. I just needed something cheap to like, you know, cover my hair and mostly my earrings. I don't even care about my hair as much, but. Um, mostly to cover my earrings so it doesn't hurt so much so it kind of slides on more easily versus just getting stuck and pulling on them um, because I'm, I'm not going to take my earrings off um, I love you know ear piercings and I did recently get two extra ones right here last year um, I think the Tragus and I forgot what this was called but they hurt so bad so I'm not trying to take those out so I had to find an alternative um, but yeah this is a great way to slide your helmet on and off much more easily um, definitely recommend it especially if you wear makeup as well so that's that I'm super excited I'm gonna sign up for the class now now that I have my helmet um, just want to make sure it's not raining here in SoCal um, I did get my gloves at Cycle Gear, so he helps me out with these, so I'm prepared. Um, these are, I think these were the Alpine Stars. Yeah, the Alpine Stars. Uh, I was trying on the men's at first. I didn't realize there was a women's section until the guy came and let me know, which was nice because it was a completely different fit. But yeah, I got my gloves. I got my helmet. Um, super happy about this. I'm really excited so um, 
I don't know if you're new new to writing or it's your first time and you're not sure that's why I'm making these videos because I kind of wanted to go through the process also and kind of show people what it's like to start this hobby or journey or whatever you want to call it um, but it's exciting I'm really happy and I can't wait to sign up for the class I don't know if I don't think I can't record the class obviously but I will definitely record you know the motorcycle like purchasing journey I'm gonna go do that so hopefully they'll let me record that at the dealership but after I get licensed I will go ahead and post more about it, um, more about the process, practice videos, things like that. So if that's something you're interested in, uh, join me in this journey. Please consider subscribing so you can see those. Um, but yeah, hopefully this was helpful. If you are trying to buy a helmet for the very first time, don't feel weird, don't feel awkward. It's kind of intimidating walking into a motorcycle gear store when you have you know you don't know so much I've watched hundreds and hundreds of YouTube videos but it's still very different when you go in person and look at these things um, especially when you're new it's kind of intimidating at first so but the, the cycle gear here in Orange County was really nice about it um, they were very helpful they're still helpful every time I had to go exchange this helmet for a different size um, but yeah that was my little unboxing video um i got the medium large this is the 58 centimeter um i think diameter so you're gonna measure kind of right above your eyebrows like on your forehead all the way around um however i had ordered medium small at first because my like fedoras or hats are usually 57 centimeters so i was like okay you know the helmet should be similar but it wasn't it was too small it was too tight um, it was hurting the top of my head, uh, let alone, you know, the cheek part. I, I figure the cheeks are going to be smushed at first, but once it starts hurting your head, um, it's a little bit too tight from what they told me. So um, that one, you know, I had worn it around the house. Um, I was cooking food, so I decided to just put the helmet on, see if it hurts. And it was a little too tight so that's how i knew when i was kind of starting to get a headache or it just kind of made me feel weird um kind of nauseous so that's when i went back and got the larger size so when you get a new helmet just they recommend trying it on in your house walking around with it leave it on watch tv or something um at least for about an hour and that way you can see if you know it's hurting or if you start getting a headache or feeling nauseous it's a little bit too small probably but this was great at that thanks for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed an unboxing of a motorcycle helmet it is really exciting something very new to me but something i've always wanted to do since i was a kid um, i used to print pictures of ducatis and r1s and put them on my wall um, but yeah so it's kind of exciting to actually be going through the process now and being able to go through the process um, but stay tuned for more videos uh, gear related anything new to this you know uh, a new process for me and I'll take you guys along uh, with me as much as I can thanks for watching please like subscribe if you like videos like this or consider subscribing uh, it really helps out my channel grow and kind of helps me keep going with these videos I have a really good time doing these but I'm gonna put this back and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.